welcome to user defined functions video 8 in this video we're going to actually return matches from a regular expression so if you aren't familiar with regular expressions they were actually developed in the 1950s by a guy named Stephen Clean they're pretty much supported in a lot of languages including obviously VBA uh, the dotnet languages C++ Python etc they are essentially a sequence of characters that pattern match and act like search algorithms. They are the bee's knees when it comes to doing text manipulation. Excel offers quite a bit of text functions, and I've actually built a bunch in the previous UDFs, but none of them really can compare with regular expressions. Anyway, uh, so what I built here is a regex function that utilizes the regex engine in VBA and it takes two arguments. One, it takes a string, and then it takes an expression, and it returns an array of matches from that string with that expression. So for instance, here I wrote pool 56, the two numbers, four of this four string. So I was saying pull the numbers of this string. And if I go into here, I use just a really simple regex uh, expression. I can hit F9 or go to calculate now. And this is going to return me an array of all the different numbers that are in this particular string. Again, this is another way of pulling out the words. So where it says, here are the words, I'm just going to see if I can pull that out with this little regex expression. If I go to calculate now, there you go, it gives me the array of that. Um, and then likewise with characters, I could say, show me the characters. Highlight this, calculate now. And what about something a little bit more complex? Say, hey, get me the numbers that follow a dash and are a number one through eight. That's what I was looking for. Let me know if you have any questions by leaving a comment below. This is actually not going to be that difficult of a function. It does come with a couple caveats, one being that we have to reference a library within VBA. So if you just copy and paste the code, it won't simply work. You have to go in and change the references on the VBA backend. Without any more introduction, let's get started. Go to your Visual Basic Editor by hitting Alt F11. I'm going to just bring mine over here. Okay, so I'm going to just delete the function out of my Module 1, and we're going to basically write the function in this Module 2 area. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is write the keyword function. Call it regxget. So that's like saying, get me whatever the regular expressions eva evaluated to. I open up my parentheses and add my arguments. The first argument is just going to be a string and as you can probably tell it'll be a string. My second argument is going to be my expression which is also a string and then I'm just going to return this whole function as a variant. So it's going to be an array. Okay, so before continuing, before writing the function, we're going to have to point to the library that has the regular expressions. So if I go to Tools and into References, this is basically a list of all of the libraries available to VBA. They're called COM libraries, which means Common Object Model. Uh, what's cool is .NET has access to all of these libraries as well. So if you code in, in .NET or, or C Sharp, these are available to you as well. So what you want to find is Microsoft VB Script Regular Expressions 1.0. There might be two. You can use either 5.5 or 1.0. In this case, I'm just using one. So if that one works for you, feel free to pick either way. OK, so you can press OK. And that means that we are now able to use the objects within that library. Just for fun, let's go to our object browser by going View object browser like so and this pretty much shows us all the classes that we have access to currently these are all the libraries that I've selected so if I actually just want to look at my regular expression library I can highlight that and it shows me pretty much all the classes within that um, uh, not only that but the members of each class so match I have these guys these properties match collection I have these properties so count item with regexp, I have a bunch of different methods, one being execute, which we'll use, the other being replace and test. So a pretty small library, three classes, not too many properties and not too many methods. So I'm going to exit out of that. OK, so we're going to declare our first variable, and it is going to be an object of 
the regular expression. So we're going to instantiate our regular expressions by saying dim, which means dimension. I'm just going to call it reg x. I'm going to say as new. So new is a keyword that instantiates objects. And here it gives me a list of all of the classes which I can construct from. So if I actually go down, I can find my VB script reg x 10 library. And that isn't a class, so I can't construct from that. So I'm going to say dot regular expression which is one of the classes. Okay, so once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and declare an array by saying dim new array as string. Okay, so once I'm done declaring my new array, I can just start pointing or setting my properties in the regex objects to my variables that I pass into here. So for instance, my regex dot, and then uh, one of the properties is pattern. I'm going to say that is equal to my expression. Another property I'm going to use is ignore case. I'm just going to set that to true. And regex global, I'm also going to set to true. So global is like saying, do I want to simply return the first match or do I want to return an array of matches? So because this function is going to return an array, I'm setting global to true. OK, uh, then the next thing I want to do is go ahead and set another variable. I'm going to call it matches equal to my regex dot execute. And then execute takes a parameter. And I'm going to write a string right there. And then I'm going to have another variable here called x equals matches dot count. And what x is, x is an integer. So we can go ahead and declare it here dim x as integer. x is going to set the bounds of my array. So my array is going to go from 0 to the total number of matches. And I'm going to do that by re-dimensioning my array as x minus 1. So uh, this function will break as soon as we have 0 matches, because 0 minus 1 is negative 1, and arrays can't handle negative numbers. So uh, as soon as it hits this guy, if the matches are zero, it'll break and it'll put some sort of value error, something like that. Okay, so once we're done with that, I'm just going to start looping through each one of the matches by going for each match in matches. My new array at a value, so I'm going to call this value cnt equals match dot value. So let's go ahead and declare CNT. I actually forgot to create it before, so I'm going to just go up here and write dim CNT as integer. And I'm going to, after I redimension it, I'm going to set CNT equal to 0. And once I'm done with that, I can use CNT as my index over of the new array. So uh, CNT equals CNT plus 1. And then I'm just going to say next. OK, so once it finishes for loop, it'll go hit all of the matches within my collection of matches. And I'm just going to say reg x get is equal to new array, open close, um, end function. OK, so now let's check if it works. So if I go back to my Excel sheet and I press Enter on this guy, it seems to work. Um, however, I should probably check it by highlighting it. Going to calculate now in my formulas tab, 56244. OK, so that's actually good enough. It works. It's pumping out an array, and it's taking regular expressions. I think there's another thing we can do really easily, and it'd probably take two seconds to do, and it's probably worth doing. What also would be really cool is if we could create not only something that returns the regular expression, expression but return the matches of the regular expression. So I'm actually going to go back in here, and I'm not going to try to make this function take another argument and then have it, you know, if I say true to that argument, it'll return matches. I'm just going to create a new function by copying this guy. and pasting it below and rather than calling it regex get I'm gonna call it regex POS for position actually that doesn't sound too good I'll just write position so regex position will return the placement within a string in which my expression evaluates to so this will actually return an array of integers okay so this stuff all looks good we're still gonna to have to instantiate an object from my regular expressions class and regular expressions library. I'm still going to have to declare an array 
except the difference is, is it's going to be an integer instead of a string. And I should probably redim it as an integer as well, right here. And the next thing we can do is basically just change the match. So the match had a few properties. It had value, it had a couple of others. The one I'm going to use is called first index. And then I'm just going to add one to it. And the reason I'm adding one is because if we say first index at zero, that means the starting point will be zero. So if the character in which it finds is at the beginning of the string, it'll give me a zero when I really want it to give me a one. So I can use it within Excel string manipulation functions such as mid, left, right, length, etc. So that should be good enough for this. Like I said before, we changed the new array to be an array of integers as opposed to strings. And then just change this match guy. Instead of returning the values that it matched, return the index numbers. If I go ahead and change this guy to reg x position and I highlight it and go to calculate now. It looks like I made a mistake here so um, I actually because I renamed the function when I return the function I need to change regex get to. That's one of the things with copying and pasting is you have to make sure you cross your t's and dot your i's. So regex position equals new array instead. Let's try it one more time. Okay it seems like it worked. It changed. If I highlight it and then go to calculate now then it'll give me the positions of all of the numbers. So if I look at 56 and I count from the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So perfect. Anyway, uh, that's the end of this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions by leaving a comment below. I'm going to leave some links to the website where I learned how to do this and then B to places where you can learn how to use regular expressions and become good at it. Once you become a pro at regular expressions, you can really have your way with, with text and strings and stuff. All right, well, hope you enjoyed. Thanks again.